courage, discipline, and justice, right? These are the three values that come up to me with everything that I do, right? Between being a Spartan, being a Spartan guy, doing the right thing, being a beast, beast mode, all of it comes down to what I represent is courage, discipline, and justice, right? Specifically, what do these mean is courage for to save somebody's life, to save your own life, to do anything great in this life, you need courage, which is what? What is the virtue that you use to overcome fear? Courage means that, you, it doesn't mean that you're fearless, it means that you are using courage when you are faced with fear. In your relationship, uh, in your business, in any area of life, you have to use courage to overcome that fear, right? Something that is known is that there's no ability to use courage if there is no fear present because without fear you don't need courage so if you have if you have a fear to take a risk to move somewhere to join a program to start a relationship to start a business to make a business move whatever it may be and that fear is present that's when you use courage Right When you need to step up in a situation that you have that fear within yourself, that's when you're being courageous, right? Discipline. Discipline is doing what you have to do no matter your, your, how you feel about it, right? Waking up, that's why waking up early, cold showers, hard physical exercise, uh, the strict nutrition. Uh, these, these are things that build your discipline because sometimes you don't feel like waking up early. Sometimes you don't feel like working. Sometimes you don't feel like working out. You feel like these things, that's when you need to exercise discipline. So initially, in starting any new habit, any new business, any new relationship, anything new in your life, you need to exercise discipline. But I can tell you, once you start viewing yourself differently, you do it for a long time, it begins to become part of who you are and less willpower, less discipline is required because that is actually in fact who you are. You are the disciplined person. So you don't need to necessarily exercise as much willpower, as much discipline to work out, to eat right, to wake up early. That's why the more wins you stack for the longer amount of time that you haven't been drinking and masturbating and smoking weed and doing all that bull, right? And the more that you're, you know, doing the hard things for a longer period of time, the longer that you do that, man, right then and there, you, the discipline becomes easy. But discipline's doing what you have to do no matter if you feel like it or not to reach your vision, your goal of who you want to become. Ripped, rich, and rare. A ripped, confident beast, right? And then lastly, justice. Justice is doing the right thing. Right, and one thing that's very clear to me, what does that even mean? I always talk about being the best man you possibly can be in every single area and giving that to the world. This is me out. And giving that to the world. That's the just thing to do. You know what's also justice? Being grateful for everything that you have now, everything that you are now, the relationships you have, the money you do have, the business that you do have, because God has given you that. And anything less is unjust, because you're being ungrateful for the gift that you've been given. Lazy can be unjustice, because what? You've been blessed with this life, this gift of life, and you've been blessed with a gift. You've been blessed with all of these things, and guess what? Guess what? If you're being lazy, you're doing the wrong thing. If you're sleeping in, not working out, uh, being angry, being greedy, being egotistical, uh, spilling negativity onto people, spitting negativity into the world, making people worse, making people feel crap, right? That is unjust, it's not the right thing. And guess what's also not the right thing, bro? Guess what also is not the right thing? Not being the best you possibly can be. When you're not the best you can be, it's not the right thing because you're not going to be able to help individuals, um, you know, uh, with the, what they got going on. So if you haven't overcome masturbation, weed, 
alcohol, uh, eating, you know, being overweight, being insecure, anxiety, depression, overcoming these low frequencies, mastering yourself, right? Getting yourself taken care of. If you haven't mastered this and solved your own problems and you're not relentlessly going after it, getting better every single day, doing whatever it takes to do so, that is the wrong thing. It's unjust because you, you are not being, like somebody else's life is on the line. Like every single time that you're angry, you, you, you yell at your, your girlfriend, your mom, you're not, you're being lazy, you're sleeping in, you're not working, you're drinking, you're smoking. Guess what? Guess, guess what? That is unjust because you're giving them a way out. They might kill themselves. They might continue to drink. They might continue to be broke. They might continue doing all of these things because you did the wrong thing and not mastered yourself, right? So it's unjust. So I wanted to make this very clear to you guys that these three things are the foundation of everything that I do. Courage, because it takes courage to wanna to grow, to wanna to change, to do the right thing. It takes courage, bro. It's not easy to grow in this life, to step out your comfort zone, baby boy. Ah, make more money, get ripped, get, get your dream body, travel the world, be the best man you can be for your girlfriend, to get a girlfriend, to get a wife, to have kids, to be the best man you possibly can be for them. Man, it takes courage. Damn, it takes courage, man. It does. If you're gonna be a soft pussy bitch, yeah, you don't need courage. And I guarantee to the level of lack of courage that you have, the procrastination of not taking the actions, taking the risks, and doing what it takes, is the reason that you're still in this position that you've been too comfortable of being in. And that's why it's unjust to be in that position because they're not being the man that you know that you could be, the greatness you have inside, the vision that you know you could be. So it's unjust. And guess what? Because you're a soft baby boy. Woo! You're undisciplined. And guess what? You do what you feel like you want to do. So you door knock when you want to door knock. You cold call when you want to cold call. Sometimes you hit 50, sometimes you hit 100. Sometimes you wake up at five, sometimes you sleep until nine. Sometimes you're at the office at eight, sometimes you're at the office at 11. Sometimes you eat healthy, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you drink, sometimes you don't. Undisciplined, soft, baby boy, right? All right, that's the end of this video, guys. Three things to always keep in mind is courage, discipline, and justice and that's the foundation of everything i am and everything i do all right guys god bless your soul i believe in you you are not alone i'm here right by your side every single day all right you can find me at devin Kripe on facebook and instagram devin Kripe. right make sure you like the video comment subscribe follow the notification button so you never miss a video i believe in you and remember to be courageous to be disciplined and to be just all right, guys, see you next time. And also, hey, if you're ready to level up and join my beast mode program, the Spartan Gods or my Spartans, and get in the best shape of your life, become a ripped, confident beast, become courageous, just, and disciplined, you can message me on Devin Kripe or click the link below. Let's get it.